I want to thank Speaker McCarthy for his warm hospitality and for his invitation to bipartisan congressional leaders who have taken time out of their busy schedule to join us today. Their presence and unwavering support reassure the people of Taiwan that we are not isolated and we are not alone. It is especially fitting for us to meet here to pay tribute to a distinguished American president and world leader, a man who also played a crucial role in partnership with the U.S. Congress in protecting and fortifying U.S.-Taiwan relations at a time of changing diplomatic realities. President Reagan six assurances of 1982 on top of the landmark Taiwan Relations Act passed by the Congress laid the foundation for a strong and unique partnership of over four decades, during which we have maintained peace and promoted prosperity and welcomed the events of Taiwan's democracy. However, it is no secret that today, the peace that we have maintained and the democracy which we have worked hard to build are facing unprecedented challenges. We once again find ourselves in a world where democracy is under threat and the urgency of keeping the beacon of freedom shining cannot be understated. President Reagan said it best, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. It must be fought for and defended constantly really, by each generation. In the discussion with congressional leaders this morning, I reiterated Taiwan's commitment to defending the peaceful status quo, where the people of Taiwan may continue to thrive in a free and open society. I also highlighted a belief which President Reagan championed that to preserve peace, we must be strong. I would like to add that we are stronger when we are together. For this, I also express uh, our deepest gratitude on behalf of the Taiwanese people to members of the Congress on both aisles, on both sides of the aisle, and a number of initiatives that have helped to make Taiwan and our partnership stronger. Specifically, initiatives in the realm of enhancing Taiwan's self-defense capabilities, fostering robust trade and economic ties between us, and supporting Taiwan's meaningful participation in the international community, have all served to safeguard our shared interests in peace and prosperity across the Indo-Pacific. Taiwan strives to be a reliable partner to the world a cornerstone for stability in the region and a force for good. There is saying in the Confucian analyze that is, one who is virtuous will not stand alone. In our efforts to protect our way of life, Taiwan is grateful to have the United States of America by our side. As we confront the unique challenges of our time, let us be mindful of the principles that have forged our great partnerships and bear in mind the lessons President Reagan's enduring legacy. Once again, thank you, Peter McCarthy, for your warmth and for your friendship. Thank you to all our friends in Congress for standing by Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you.